We caught wind that a flying car was being developed in Ocala. We met with Steve Saint of iTech, Indigenous Peoples Technology and Education Center, to learn more about what they are doing. For nearly 40 years, Steve Saint has been using light aircraft and powered parachutes to bring supplies and medical aid to the Wadoni tribe in Ecuador. Because some jungle areas are difficult to reach, Steve wanted to provide them with a vehicle that could land on a small strip of grass and then drive off on narrow roads into the brush, literally a flying car. Assembled by Steve Saint at iTech, Indigenous Peoples Technology and Education Center, the Maverick, suspended from a single wing, floats over the treetops and once on the ground, converts into an ATV that can handle bumpy jungle roads or high-speed highways. Several different models of the Maverick have a variety of options, from personalized color schemes to high-speed tires and vinyl side windows. Steve also envisions floats for water landing and skis for traversing on snow. The Maverick recently caught the interest of an independent filmmaker who is putting together a documentary on flying cars, set to air on the Smithsonian Channel at the end of the year or early 2013. Though initially designed for humanitarian purposes, the Maverick can be used for border patrol, pipeline monitoring, farming, and extreme sports. The operation is so simple, anyone with 12 hours of powered parachute training can fly it, including the Ecuadorian Indians. The Maverick is FAA certified special light sport or experimental amateur built aircraft. It measures 5 feet 8 inches wide. The wing can be deployed by one person and it's ready to fly in 5 minutes. The Maverick can clear a 50 foot obstacle 300 feet away. It can reach a 10,000 foot altitude. It has a 190 horsepower injected 2.5 liter Subaru engine. For the full story on Steve and his flying car, visit whatsupocala.com or pick up the next issue of What's Up Ocala magazine, available at local retailers.